Hey guys, welcome to today's video. It might be a long one. I am doing a full on shopping guide for makeup and skincare and just the best of the best products that are available at Sephora. Of course, a lot of these products you can purchase elsewhere, but I always get commented and tweeted at and you guys always wanna know like what exactly is Tati approved? And I know a lot of you guys have been tweeting me pictures with hashtag Tati made me do it and I absolutely love that so much. Much, so keep them coming. I don't think I've ever had this many products in front of me for any one single video ever. So we are just going to dive right in and we are gonna go in order. What do you guys think of my little ear cuff? It's so cute, but it kind of hurts. Ow. First things first, let's talk about priming the face and getting rid of all of those annoying pores because for me, whenever I don't do this step, I will see a huge difference in my makeup throughout the day. So whenever I'm testing out other primers, I always do like the car check where you flip down the mirror and it's the moment of truth and you can see everything and I'm like, yep, skipped on my favorite primer and I can tell. So this is what I always use to fill in all of my pores, especially right here in between my brows, kind of the T-zone area is where I really press this in. And I literally will take a little bit on my fingertips and I will just press, 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 press. If I feel like I need more of a lifted effect or a moisturizing primer, then I will absolutely reach for my Guerlain Gold Primer. I am back into that. I'm almost out of it. It apparently grew legs and ran off because I cannot find it in my beauty room anywhere and I just started getting so hooked on that one again. I will link below any corresponding videos, but the first time that I tried that one out, literally half of my face was firm and half of it wasn't because I wanted to see if it made a difference putting it on only half of my face and that's why I became such a believer in the product. Now Smashbox did bring out something pretty cool. It looks kind of like a glue stick and I feel like the ease of application is just so nice with this primer. This is the Photo Finish Iconic Primer Stick, and you can kind of do the same thing. I love doing this, especially on days when I'm not even wearing makeup and I just really quickly want to blur out any lines. I'll get it up here on my crow's feet. I'll get it in between my eyebrows and it just softens the whole look. For foundation, I have a few different options that I wanna go over. One of them comes um, in what looks like a spray paint can. I am back into this, you guys. I haven't had a bottle in so long, but every time I revisit this foundation, I'm just like, take my breath away, this is so good. I don't even really know why, but it does give you mannequin-like skin and it's so lightweight. It just has such a nice feeling on your face. You don't feel like you're wearing a ton of makeup. And for me, that is worth the splurge. So this is the Dior Air Flash Spray Foundation. Now it comes out actually like a spray. You feel like you're spray painting your face, but you don't have to just like go in like this. The way that I like to use it is actually off of a beauty blender. You can either spray it on the back of your hand or you can spray it directly on the blender and then just press it in. That is my preferred way of applying this product, but it is one of the best foundations. It also wears a really long time. So what I'm wearing on my face right now though is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation. This stuff is incredible. It looks natural, but it's full coverage. I feel like this would work for most skin types. I have very finicky combo skin, so it some days wants to be oily, other days it wants to be dry. But what that leaves me with is a little bit of texture, so foundation can be a little bit tricky, and that's something that I look for in foundation is that it settles into my skin, that it doesn't emphasize any drier areas, and that it doesn't make me overly shiny. So this one is just perfect and it's very transfer resistant. It's incredibly long wear, humidity resistant. It's just a beautiful foundation. If you wanna spend all your money, then you can go to this guy right here. You won't be disappointed. You will have beautiful skin. This is the La Mer The Soft Fluid Long Wear Foundation, SPF of 20 in here. Beautiful product. If I have been traveling, if my skin is dehydrated, if it needs just a little extra love, this is what I will use. It doesn't give me as intense of coverage as the Laura Mercier or the next one that I'm gonna talk about, which is the YSL All Hours, but this is a beautiful foundation. It makes you look like you have baby skin. You just look in the mirror and you're like, I am fresh, I am flawless, and it's just such a nice product. Moving on to the All Hours, 
I feel like I'm beating a dead horse here, but this product is just so insane for maximum coverage that wears all day long. If I'm gonna be taking photos and I know that I need to look very, very extra good, uh, and I want to sacrifice maybe a little bit of the natural look to my skin. Not that this looks cakey or weird, but it's not as natural as say, this guy right here or the Dior. It's, you know, it's a full glam type of a look, but I'm okay with that. Sometimes I just, I wanna look like I'm airbrushed. Is that a bad thing? All right, moving on. We have a few stick foundations because there's something for everybody here. And if you like a stick foundation that you can just go bah, 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 and then just like blend it in right away, then reach for one of these two. Uh, I will say that recently this started smelling even weirder than normal. And I wanna know in the comments, does your Makeup Forever stick foundation smell strange? James Charles, I'm asking you actually, because you use this every day. Why don't I just text you that? Um, why would anyone put this on their face? I'll tell you why. Because it makes you look like you have the most gorgeous doll-like baby skin. It's such a beautiful product, but can someone please tell me why every stick that I have purchased smells like a fish market? What is in here? This doesn't smell like anything but this is a little more geared toward drier skin types. This is from Hourglass. This is the Vanish Stick Foundation. And I was so into this for a while. Oh my gosh, like I could not get enough. I was contouring with it, highlighting with it, foundationing with it. It is just such a beautiful product. It melts into the skin like butter. It just literally like sinks in and becomes one. It gives you a little bit of a dewier finish. So if you want matte, this is not it. Um, but what I do like about this is if I've ever used retinols or my skin's really dry or whatever I'm going through, I have like a dry patch, this just kind of glides over it and almost helps it to look better. Whereas most foundations, if you have drier patches, it'll just cling to it and make everything look 10 times worse. This doesn't, we love that. You can't get this at Sephora, but it is also a favorite. This is the Bulletproof Coffee. Have you guys tried this? It has brain octane oil, which is gonna make me smarter for my channel. And it has grass-fed butter in the coffee, which is odd, but it's delicious. And it's like sugar-free. Anyway, huh? she's getting sidetracked already. Funny enough, the concealer that I have sitting right in front of me that I use today is not from Sephora. It is from the drugstore. But I'm gonna kind of sneak it in because I don't have a Sephora concealer. I've been going back and forth between Tarte Shape Tape, which of course is an exclusive to Ulta. I also love the Liquid Camouflage high coverage concealer and it sure is. This is like such high coverage. This is from Catrice, I think it's like $5.99. You're welcome. All right, so as far as powder goes, this is so good. This is something that I have loved for years. This is the translucent powder from Laura Mercier and I love this one. I do go back and forth between my Cody Airspun, this and RCMA powder. I was really into the La Prairie powder for a long time, but the splurge of it, I'm just not interested in anymore. Am I? This one is incredible for baking so long as you set a little bit of powder first so things aren't grabbing and then you go in with a heavier hand. It is a beautiful powder, very finely milled, does not look cakey and thick and blotchy. It's just really, really good. So this is my fave from Sephora as far as a loose setting powder, which we all need. We all need a good powder. Also, I think we all need a good contour in our life and Kat Von D got it right with this. Look at how I have destroyed this product. I didn't really ever use this one anyway, but I use this all of the time. I mix these two together to contour, and then these two right here, I will actually use underneath my eye, or even as eyeshadow, I'm wearing this guy right here all over my lid. It's just a really beautifully milled powder that can work however you need it to work, and it's like a no fail. I just love this one. I wanted to mention this brush. Is this not so giant? Look at this brush. Do you know what I do with this? I contour. I know that sounds crazy, but I actually go in my cheekbone like this, and then I kind of flip it on its side, and I'll do a little of this. And this is a Sephora brand brush. It's really, really good. You can kind of go down the neck, get the jaw. It just kind of gets the job done really quickly, and I love it. Um, okay, for all over face illumination, 
This is not just highlight. I used to only set this underneath my eye and kind of in this area to give a glow, but I'm actually wearing this all over my face today, like everywhere, to give just a nice creamy effect to the skin. If I'm ever over powdered or feeling like my makeup is just not looking that great, this will fix it so immediately. This is the Ambient Setting Powder. Now I have one of these trios, you can buy them individually. This is the Ambient Lighting Palette. You get dim light, incandescent light, and radiant light. And these are just magic. I don't really even know how they make this powder so magic, but just the way that it looks on the skin is just, what's the word? Magic. Um, it just makes you look like you have better skin than you do. It's really great. As far as a more in your face highlight, I just gotta go ahead and say that Becca gets it done. As far as a powder highlight, they are the best. It's the best. How cute is this for holiday too? This is a little set that you do get a blush and bronzer, which I love. I don't love their blushes and bronzers as much as I love their highlighters, but I figured I would show you guys their little kit that they have out right now. But I mean, their highlighters are just glorious. They are number one, like best sellers for a reason. They just make you look shiny in the best way possible without exaggerating texture. So good job, Becca. Okay, as far as bronzer goes, Benefit Hoola. Who doesn't love this? You can contour with it. It's a great product. It's not crazy, crazy expensive and it's matte. So if you're looking for a matte bronzer, this is such a great one. I do wanna say at the drugstore and what I've been reaching for the most recently is the butter bronzer from Physicians Formula, so. You can always look in the description box to see what I'm actually wearing video to video and you can kind of gauge what my favorites are at the moment by just looking at that. And I just have been using this so much lately that I have to tell you guys, 10 bucks versus like 20, 30, 40 from Sephora. If you're on a budget, this is really good. And I have all the makeup in the world and I still reach for this. The same thing happens with blush. Now I like Tarte blushes. I also really love this one. This is like my number one choice to recommend because it's so universally flattering and it just gives such a beautiful glow without being shiny. This is Nars's Orgasm. It is a stunning blush. This is one of the first Sephora products I ever saved up to purchase myself. Like I was really, really obsessed with this. Of course, I heard that JLo's makeup artist <laughs> used this on her and that it was the perfect peachy pink and I was like, I need that. Like. I need to save for this. So I do remember saving up for this guy and not being disappointed. And I used this blush on my younger sister on her wedding day. She also wore orgasm lip gloss and it's just like a pretty, just glowy, pretty kind of feminine type of a blush. Um, if you want more of a long wear, the Tarte Amazonian Clay is great. But beyond that, I don't have too many recommendations because I tend to go drugstore. I like H&M blushes. Um, I like Gosh blushes and I just, I like what I like, so that's that. This is from Cover FX. This is the Custom Enhancer Drop. This reminds me of Mercury. It reminds me of the Terminator. You know the dude that like turns into liquid mercury and he like is the police officer and then he like kind of melts and everything. <laughs> this is what I think like the female counterpart would look like. She would like melt into this. This is what I would melt into actually, just so you know. Um, this is beautiful. I mean, if you wanna offend someone with how bright your highlight is, this is your product. Not to say that you can't you know, blend it out and have it actually look very natural because you can, you can shear it out a ton, but it has the power to be offensive. Just keep that in mind. All right, moving from there, we have an eyeshadow primer that I have to touch on really quick because you guys were calling me out recently. You're like, why are you trying eyeshadows and not using a primer? And I kind of got defensive for a minute. I was like, well, I use my concealer as my primer. It doesn't matter, like you guys, it's fine. And then of course, like I started using primer again. I'm like, well, I guess maybe they're right. So I do take your feedback into consideration always. And I started using this again. This is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. It's anti-age because my eyelids can use that. There's no turning back the hands of time completely. And the older I get, I do have to say that the eye area is something you wanna be really, really careful with as far as how you're blending and tugging at the eye and makeup starts applying a little bit differently. It just does. And this has definitely made a difference and it also helps my eyeshadows to just look more vibrant and wear longer. So again, this is the anti-aging primer potion. Love it for priming my eyelids. This palette right here, 
This is like maybe my favorite palette. I love this. I wore this on my wedding day. Just look at these colors. Look at those mattes. Like the mattes in here are what impress me the most. They are so smooth. They are just so buttery and pigmented. They don't have fallout. They're not too fluffy. They're just so, so good. I cannot get enough of these shadows. Wow, I'm doing a really bad job swatching, but like they are just so gorgeous and they are long wearing and bright and they blur and blend and they do everything that you need them to do, especially if you have hooded eyes and you have a hard time kind of getting up in that crease and like really blurring out the edges. Like sometimes I have a hard time working with shadows. I never have a hard time working with these mattes. I will say with some of the metallics, you definitely want to use a glitter glue. The only shade that I don't like in this palette is this one right here, which funny enough, when I reviewed this product, that was the first shade that I used. I was like glitter, like my eyes just was like the brightest one and it does have a lot of fallout, but the more I use the palette all together, the more I fell in love with it and I do really, really love this palette so much. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. So the last WTF that I did was on Natasha Denona and I just wanna tell you guys that Natasha Denona actually reached out to me on Instagram, sent me a handwritten note with two more of the palettes that actually broke and her message on Instagram she was like Tati I didn't know whether to laugh or cry thank you for giving such a thorough review and I'm so sorry that what happened happened as far as the shadows falling out and she explained that you know it was the way that the shadows are put in the pan and um, that they were going to give feedback to their team and I love that I literally want to like standing ovation. Like I'm just so pleased when a company will actually reach back out to me and not be aggressive because there have been many times where companies have been aggressive and it's such a turnoff. It's like, hey, my job here on YouTube, what I do is review products. So I am hands-on swatching, touching, trying 24 seven. And there are always gonna be little things that can be adjusted or big things when, you know, pans are falling apart. But my point is I'm gonna give feedback and I think the beauty community as a whole has excellent feedback and companies can only improve when they listen to that feedback instead of getting offended and kicking people off of a PR list. So I just wanna, you know, throw that out there that she really, really impressed me by reaching out and I do really appreciate that so much. I don't know if I can do this whole thing. I'm trying to be cute with this like, ow. I really wanna get this pierced right here. What do you guys think? Leave that in the comments. I can't wear this for more than a half an hour. I got this cute little clip on ear thing right here and I think it's so cute, but it just, like I was starting to not even be able to focus on the makeup because I was just like pain, pain, pain. Um, okay, where were we? We're still on eyeshadow. All right, I have to just, I have to love on this a little bit more because I have been using this nonstop as well. Um, I will go ahead and say that any of the Marc Jacobs shadows, like whatever color palette you are into from purple to neutral to greens, you know, I have a bunch of them behind me right here. Uh, they look something like this. And just through and through, I've never used a palette that has disappointed me. The quality of the eyeshadow is so good. And then this year, their holiday palette is just so stunning. I mean, the outside's a little cheesy. I don't really understand this part of it. I would prefer it to just be a little more elegant and sleek, but the shadows themselves, the color setup, so, so good. This palette is called the Wild One and I love it. Boom. Oh my God, Pat McGrath, you just, you did it with these. I am wearing these shadows today. It was so quick to blend. They are fast, fast shadows. You don't have to spend so much time just like building and buffing and building and buffing. This is the kind of shadow that does all the work for you. And then of course you have just these like stunning, gorgeous, really unique shades in here. Look at that. Like I don't have those colors in any other palette. And that's what I appreciate about these two palettes right here. Crazy expensive, but if you want something to splurge on, if you're looking for that kind of different, unique type of a palette, just everything from the weight, the mirror, the setup, the colors, the way the mattes blend, then I think these are really, really good. Yes, 
if you are going Tati, you're so crazy, we get it, it's Sephora, it's not drugstore pricing, but could you recommend something under a hundred bucks? Okay, I got you. Naked Three, Naked Two, those are my favorites. The original is pretty good. Um, the Smoky Palette, eh, the Heat wasn't really my favorite just for color setup, but I still wanna say that if you need a good palette that you can do a ton of looks with that isn't through the roof crazy expensive, then the Urban Decay Naked Palettes are still really, really good. These are some of of my favorites as far as palettes at Sephora that I would recommend. And I do wanna point out to you guys that this video comes with a bonus surprise giveaway. I've got the Tarte Primer right here. Um, some of the other favorites that I've already discussed and just stay tuned for info on that or just peek in the description box below. But I'm giving away about $500 of makeup, a lot of what you see right here. So moving on, um, I do wanna to touch on another Urban Decay product. Ooh, shiny. Oh my God, so shiny. Shiny, shiny. I think I was a ferret in my past life because I really wanna steal all the shiny things and hide them in a pile. Um, side note, I actually did have a ferret when I was a teenager and that's exactly what my ferret would do, steal all my jewelry and coins. Anyway, these from Urban Decay, so gorgeous. If you want just a little sliver of glitter and you don't want to full on, you know, pack on all the glitter on your lid and you just want like a little enhancement, these are so beautiful. You can use them on the lid. You can use them in the inner corner. I am wearing right now the shade ACDC and this is my favorite. A lot of people like Midnight Cowboy but, um, which is this one right here, but I love this. It's like more cool toned. It's a little bit taupe feeling. It's not like straight silver. It's just got such a flattering color to it. And these are just so A plus, you guys. If you need glitter, right here. This is newer from Bobbi Brown as far, well, I don't think it's newer. It's new to me. This is a long wear gel eyeliner duo. And you guys know, I love my L'Oreal lacquer liner. That has been my go-to for a long time, but this one really impressed me. I got this in PR and it just like glides right on. If you have an issue with things bleeding, this does not bleed. It comes in a bunch of different color duos and I love it. If you need a good black eyeliner from Sephora, go to the Sephora brand. This is something that always gets overlooked and I always just wanna like grab people and be like, no, pay attention to the Sephora brand. It needs a little love sometimes because their products are actually surprisingly good. Look at how rich and matte and black this liner is. It is a waterproof liner. It's a 12 hour wear. This is perfect for the waterline. They have a ton of different colors and it just will not disappoint you. It's such a good liner. I do also wanna say that Marc Jacobs has some beautiful liners, especially if you're looking for very unique colors that you might not find at the drugstore. It's a gel liner. I have Deja Blue and Blew Me Away. Okay. Moving on. I also really love Makeup Forever as far as waterproof liners. They have really, really good ones. It was actually designed for synchronized swimmers. So I always tell people, I'm like, okay, well think about this. If they can wear that in the water and twirl around and do all that, I think that this kind of a product would carry you through a regular day in life. For your eyebrows, um, I normally use like five different things in my eyebrows. In fact, today I'm using Beauty Bakery, I'm using It Cosmetics Powder, and I'm using this right here. This is the Dior Show Brow Styler. This is the Universal. They have a darker one that's really good too, but I just love this. Every time I'm out of it, I end up buying another one. It works really well. I love the spoolie on here. Here. I just love the shade. I love how waxy it is, but it's not like too pigmented. So you can actually really brush on those individual looking hairs because let's face it, when I take my makeup off, I do not have this many brow hairs. I kind of don't have brows at all. So this helps me to give a very natural looking brow that's a lot more than what I wake up with. And I really like it. Let's talk about setting your makeup because that's really important. It just is. Actually, I wanna set my face a little bit more. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter. It just feels good. It has the best mist. Like you guys know, I always talk about like the mist on a setting spray. Urban Decay gets it done every single time. They have a de-slick for more oily skin. And if you get super oily, you can actually put this on before your makeup, it will really help. Then they have the chill setting spray, which will give you more of a de-powdered, hydrated type of a thing. Favorite at Sephora, hands down. Let's talk about lips. What I'm wearing right now is from Clinique. This is one of the best matte lipsticks. It's not talked about enough. Like people do not love on this product enough in my opinion. I'm wearing the shade 11 Peppermint Pop. 11's my favorite number. And this is a beautiful red. Literally look at that. It is perfect. 
It's just all of them come out that way. It does not feel drying on the lips. It's very cushy, but it's not overly gel-like and the pigment is just solid. I also really love the shade 03 Ruby Pop. Look at that. Bam! For liner today, I am wearing the NARS Precision Lip Liner. This is in the shade Nobody Knows. I have no idea. Why can I never find the names of these on here? That's a little bit of a drawback, but if you're looking for a firm liner that is very pigmented, NARS liners are great. Um, they pair with a liquid lip really, really well, and I like that. I also really love the Huda Beauty Lip Contour. This is the shade Bombshell. This I would pair more with a gloss or a lipstick because it's a bit of a creamier formula, but I really love how smooth they are and I love the shade range. And then I also really love Make It Forever. They also have a variety. They have their Aqua Lip, which is more creamy, but more long wearing. Then they have this right here, which is a little bit more precise. This is the shade N10. Oh my gosh, it's so good. You can really like very much shape out your lip and it looks so natural. Really, really, really love this. This is from Nude Sticks. This is in Mystic and Whisper. So you have Mystic right here. You can kind of outline the lip and then you can take Whisper. It's just a touch lighter and you get a little bit of that pouty, kind of more full type of effect to your lips. It's so stunning, and these are creamy and balmy and natural, and what I love about this is it's easy to apply. You don't need a lip liner, but it works with no makeup on. Like, it doesn't look like, oh wow, like that's, just kind of a weird combo that you're bare faced and you have a bold lip on. Like it just looks really nice with or without full glam and I really love that. I told you guys this was gonna be a long video, like we are going into detail. All right, if you want a liquid lip that is not full dry down matte but is still very long wearing and gives you the effect of a liquid lip, then Marc Jacobs is my absolute favorite. I like how you can see the color through the tube. I just love the formula. I always feel like I have a really good lip day when I wear these. And when I take them off, it doesn't dry the crap out of my lips. So I just love these and I love the color range. I also absolutely love Smashbox's Always On Liquid Lipsticks. Just like check it out. I will just do like one little zoop. Look at that. Bam, so much pigment and it does not dry out your lips. Now these dry down more like a matte transfer proof type of a liquid lip and they are beautiful. So many shades, they just launched their metallics which are also really, really good. Highly, highly recommend if you are into a liquid lip. If you're into a stain, you guys know I'm obsessed with these. I cannot even stop. Like, I love these so much. They wear incredibly well. The applicator is just the best. It's like very angled. You can kind of get in there and then you paint it on. And even if it wears off completely, you are left with the most even stain. It's not like a blotchy stain. It doesn't look smeary. It just looks like this beautiful permanent stain. I just really cannot say enough. And it's an absolute must have for me. Also the Cole Powder Lipstick from Dior. Dang, they just, oh, they did that. Like it is the most cushy, beautiful velvet finish. I love the point on here. I love how easy it is to apply. I love that you don't need a lot of touch-ups, but if you do want a touch-up, it doesn't bunch or get weird. Like it just looks good all day long. And I love this. I'll link my WTF on that one below. I also surprisingly really love this Becca lipstick. This is the Becca Lush Lip and this is in Cafe Olay. I thought this was gonna be more of a sheer balm, but it actually has a lot of pigment to it. And this is one that just feels really nourishing and hydrating. It gives you a lot of color, but you also kind of feel like you're getting a lip treatment too. So I really love these. And let's talk about more lipstick. Oh my God. <laughs> so I also have to say that for lipstick, like lipstick, lipstick, not liquids, that Smashbox is again, one of my favorites. I have Primrose right here. This is just such a beautiful pink. These cushion on the lips so nicely that if you layer it up, it really adds volume and it doesn't do that stringy sticky thing. It wears off evenly. They have so many colors that are just to die for. This is the shade Famous right here. And if we remember from my gift set video, Primrose and Famous, two of my favorites are actually in this set. So this will be part of the giveaway. As far as gloss goes, Marc Jacobs, this is some good stuff right here. It's kind of got a vanilla mint type of a scent and 
she's running out of room. You can see right here, it's just very high shine, reflective gel-like shower gel that I cannot do without. James talked about this in his man favorites, which you guys, I have to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for being so sweet to my very sweet husband. The comments were so good. I think he got more thumbs ups on that video than I ever have in any of my videos, but I was so just like loving it. And he did such a, a good job. He like sat out here with little notes and had prices on post-its and it was so cute. And he was like, get out of here, get out of the room. I'm filming this, like I'm in charge today. And it was adorable. Anyway, this was one of his favorites. And you know what? It's one of mine too. It is worth every penny. Whenever I stop using this, I notice that my skin gets more dry and that's why it's worth the splurge for me. This is the Sol Janeiro Brazilian Foreplay Moisturizing Shower Cream Gel. For my hair, you guys know I have become quickly obsessed and like, I just wanna shout from the rooftops to any and everyone that will listen to me as far as hair care goes about Briogeo because it is free of all of the junk. You don't have any artificial fragrance, artificial dyes, silicones, phthalates, sulfates. It's just really good product. And this is the Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. This on its own is just fabulous, but I do have to, kind of remind you guys of yesterday's video. This hair mask, it's a hair sheet mask, is a miracle. Your hair will have never felt better in your life. You use this and you'll just be so blown away. So you can buy a four pack and I definitely think it is worth it um, to do just even once a month is just gonna make a major difference in the quality of your hair and in the health of your hair. But the magic is right here. This is actually like the full size of this super crazy good conditioner. So if you're not into the sheet mask, then just go for the conditioner. Um, if you wanna exfoliate your scalp, then go for the exfoliating charcoal detox cleanser. I use that once a week and I can't do without that product. All right, for skincare, Caudalie's Premier Crew. I love this. It's great for any skin type. I use this during the day under makeup and it doesn't bunch up or do anything weird or make me feel too greasy. So this is a really, really good skin cream, um, especially for the daytime. And then if you want to be extra over the top, like I do sometimes, if my skin is really dry and maybe I'm using a cream contour and I just want things to sit on my skin a little differently and look a little more dewy, then I like to take one drop of beauty oil into my foundation. And I really love doing that trick with the Tatcha Gold Camilla Beauty Oil. This is a beautiful face oil and I love this. It just, it makes your skin look beautiful. It really does. You can use this as a last step in your routine if you want to at nighttime. It's just a great beauty oil too. So I had to throw that in and oh my God. Oh my God, you guys. Wait, I have one more. Holy crap, how could I like forget about this one right here? I'm gonna say it again and again until the discount code is over. If you guys want to use the Clarisonic 20% off discount code, I will have that in the description box below. Please use it while it lasts. It's not gonna be around much longer and then I don't want you guys emailing me and being like, hey, when's it coming back? Because it happens like once a year that I can do this. So if you wanna use that discount, please use it soon. They have holiday gift sets that you can get your 20 off. Um, it won't be at Sephora, it'll be at clarisonic.com. But I cannot go a day without this attachment. This is how I do any of my contour. It's how I like to put on liquid foundations, not waste a lot of product. It just makes everything blend to perfection. So this one I would highly, highly recommend. And then of course, for like the past decade, every single night to take off my makeup, I use a Clarisonic to really deeply clean my skin because it does clean your skin better than just your fingertips alone. Um, there's science behind that and I don't get breakouts, so I kind of feel like the proof is in the pudding. All right, there we have it. I'm done. She's done. I hope this was an enjoyable, long video and that you guys got a lot of good recommendations out of it. If you want me to do a similar thing at the drugstore, maybe like a shopping at CVS and Target, or if you want me to do this for specific Ulta products, just let me know in the comments below. Give the video a thumbs up, share it. That always helps me out so much. And I hope you're having a good one, whatever you are doing. And I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Thanks so much for watching. All right, I love you guys. Mwah.